Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. My name is Brennan Plays, and this is Monday Night Raw, and that is Dolph Ziggler making his Raw return after being on the sidelines for about four weeks. He, of course, made a huge appearance at Bragging Rights, kicking the Rockin' Edge in the head with a super kick. And here it is right now. So Ziggler was just puppet himself up, boom, right to Edge, and another one here. For the Rock, leaving both men laying down, looking up at the lights, and Ziggler would walk away. The Rock would then get up and head to the top rope, where Edge capitalized on his mistake, hitting the spear on the Rock mid-air. Dolph Ziggler certainly made his presence known, though, but a lot of controversy surrounding his decision to attack both GMs. Why did he do it? Well, he's out here tonight to address the situation between he and the Rock, and now Edge. So let's go heal what Dolph Ziggler has to say. I tell you this, it feels good to be out here tonight in the middle of this ring because I am one guy who is hated by every single person in the back right now. I cost everyone money, fame, the satisfaction that they are the best brand. I cost everybody that opportunity. I also cost The Rock his job. He's no longer the general manager of Raw. And I'm going to make sure that it stays that way because at Money in the Bank, The Rock and I, we go one-on-one, -on -one, but that's for later. For tonight, right now, everybody wants to know why. Why did I tag Edge and The Rock? I don't like Edge. I don't like The Rock. But my hatred for Edge is different. I don't like Edge because he's a SmackDown general manager. I don't like SmackDown. I don't want to ever go back to SmackDown. Monday Night Raw is my home. I've been building and building for the last year to win the WWE Championship right here on Raw. I'm not going to throw all that away to go to SmackDown. Edge offered me a huge contract. Bigger than he's ever signed in his time as general manager. Bigger than anybody. You name it. He offered it to me. He wanted me to go to SmackDown that badly and I said no. Even though The Rock was on the verge of firing me, I said no because I don't want to go to SmackDown. I want to win the championship right here on Raw, and I'm so close. I have been so close every single time. There's been just one person that has been stopping me from winning that championship, and that has been The Rock. He's been the one man I've wanted to kick in the head so badly and take him out of the equation that at bragging rights... I had to. I couldn't sit back and let him have even a slight chance of keeping his job. And now that he's no longer Raw GM, now I get to control The Rock. Now I get to decide his fate. Because at Money in the Bank, The Rock and I, we go one-on-one. -on -one. If I win, I get my shot finally at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. And if The Rock wins, well, then I go away unfinished. But The Rock, mark my words at Money in the Bank, I am going to give you a beatdown that is going to make you regret ever, ever messing with me. Months and months of frustration is going to be taken out on you, Rock. This is personal, Rock. And at Money in the Bank, I'm going to take what is rightfully mine. And that's an opportunity at the WWE Championship. And I'm going to eradicate you from Monday Night Raw for good. Well, Dolph Ziggler is fired up and he's ready to go at Money in the Bank, which is taking place in four weeks' time. Of course, if you did miss the Bragging Rise pay you go check out either the highlights video or the full show up on the Brennan Plays channel. Tonight we begin the road to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view and we start to look towards the Money in the Bank ladder match and the other championship matchups that will take place on that show. So it is the Lost Matadors. They're making their return finally back in action. They'll be taking on the prime time players as our tag team division looks to prepare for our next contenders for the tag titles. Emma goes one on one with Paige. And our first of our Money in the Bank ladder match qualifiers. Now, with this one, guys, there's going to be a poll up on your screen. I want you guys to vote right now. Please, would you like to see one Money in the Bank ladder match that will have three guys from Raw, three from SmackDown? Or would you like to see two Money in the Bank ladder matches, six guys from Raw in one match, and six guys from SmackDown in the other? So one match will be for the WWE Championship, the other for the World Heavyweight Championship. Vote right now on your screen. Alicia Fox goes one-on-one -on -one with Naomi. 
Roman Reigns and Ryback, they're teaming up again. This time to take on Mark Henry and Kane, the Hall of Destruction. Perhaps Ryback and Roman Reigns might be teaming up permanently. We'll see. Ziggler's back in action, going up against one half of the tag team champions. Batista, Jericho, his tag partner, will be in his corner for that one-on-one match. See how Ziggler fares after his concussion injury. And this is the big one. The WWE Championship is on the line. One-on-one -on -one in a ladder match. We're going to get a Money in the Bank preview, but it's one-on-one. -on -one. Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. Seth Rollins deserves another shot. He got a big victory over Daniel Bryan last week. We'll see how he goes. Primetime players, they spoil the party. The Lost Matadors pick up a devastating loss. Paige wins over Emma as well. And Naomi gets the win over Alicia Fox. And how did Reigns and Ryback fare? They won! So maybe this is something a little bit there. Maybe those two guys might be teaming up long term. And Batista! Well, Ziggler, his return, not so great for him as we get ready for our opening contest. So here comes our first of our four competitors. I think I meant, forgot to mention the participants in this one, but it is Cesaro, our first competitor coming out. So this will be a fatal forward match to determine the first participant in a Money in the Bank ladder match. Of course, your vote will decide on whether or not it is two or one matchup. So if it is just the one, well, whoever wins this one will get the first spot out of six. And if it is two, we'll get the first spot out of the Raw Money in the Bank ladder matchup. So last year we did the just the one ladder match. And of course, Chris Jericho won that. I believe the year before we did the same. So this will be different if we have two ladder matches or not. So it'll be a first if we do. Here's Sami Zayn. Here's the other participant in this matchup. So four very, very good contenders right now. All would love a chance at Money in the Bank. All four of them have just been, well, some of them are on the rise. Some of them are kind of falling down the ladder. But Sami Zayn's probably one of those guys who are falling down a little bit. Of course, he's been on NXT in recent times and had some success. He's in the second round of the NXT Championship Tournament. Now looking to come back here on Raw and continue his momentum here on the red brand. And here comes the other one of his opponents. It is Triple H. The game himself. A man who, well, he had a huge victory not too long ago and got himself an opportunity at the title at Payback. Unsuccessful. And has kind of been left away out of the other... Well, brand versus brand proceedings. He kind of missed out on all of that. He would love a chance here to get a shot at Money in the Bank. A match that, uh, well, arguably, I don't think really suits Triple H all that much. But uh, you got to do what you got to do. When you get an opportunity like this, I think Triple H is a veteran. He's a guy who could definitely stand up and look to try and capture Money in the Bank to further his career or prolong his veteran career. And here comes the man, I believe will probably be one of the favorites for Money in the Bank if he can qualify. The United States Champion Rusev, of course, he's had some dealings with Rhino in the last few weeks. I know Rhino would love a shot at that US title, but Rusev's kind of been involved in a few other things, trying to keep away from Rhino. And uh, Rusev would love a chance to get Money in the Bank. That'd be huge for Rusev's career, because I think Rusev's one of those guys who could be the breakout star of the year for Monday Night Raw. Already has the US title. Wouldn't it be great to see him have the WWE Championship around his waist as well. What a, what a year it would be if he could do that. And Money in the Bank is really a, nearly, a, a cert, nearly a certainty that you're going to win the championship. You know, there's been a few guys that have lost it over the time, but most likely you are going to cash in and win. We've had two cash-ins so far here in Universe Mode. Mark Henry, the first successful. And, of course, Chris Jericho cashed in as well and successful. Both cashing in on the World Heavyweight Championship, by the way. So... Mark Henry cashing in on Sheamus, and and that was on SmackDown, I believe, and of course Jericho last year, that really, that infamous cash-in on The Undertaker, and uh, that sparked that whole big rivalry between them, and then, of course, Christian and Jericho beyond that, so Money in the Bank can certainly uh, create you into a star. Jericho was one guy who had come so close on many different occasions to winning the championship but could never quite pull the trigger in a big match scenario but he had money in the bank and he had that assistance that cash in at any time any place that ability just allowed him to cash in whenever he wanted pick the right time and allowed him to have a match for the title and pick up the win so I know any one of these four men in this match and certainly anyone here on Raw would love that opportunity and who knows, maybe we could even see somebody from NXT get a shot. You never quite know. So it'll be great to see if that does take place. Right now, all four men are the outside. Sami Zayn, Hurricane Rana, Cesaro. 
But the big zoomed out shot right now is Triple H and Rusev battling it out as well. So make sure you let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see. Obviously vote on the poll as well, but I want to know your opinions as well and let me know what you voted for so I can kind of get a, a good gauge on what you guys want to see. I personally think either one is great. You know, if you have just the one match, you get the six best of both shows. You got three, the, the three best from Raw, the three best from SmackDown. You can see which brand, you know, wins it. And also you have that fact of which brand is he going to cash in on, like Jericho he won from Raw, he cashed in on SmackDown. So you can have that different dynamic, but also on the you know, you have two matchups, you can have six, you know, guys who get an opportunity. Some probably won't get that shot ever again, but you get six guys from each brand who can step up to the occasion and have a huge match to try and become the next Money in the Bank winner, and they can cash in on their respective brands. We have two exciting cash ins as well. So either one is great. Let me know what you guys are gonna be voting for. And of course, later on after this one, we're going to have the title match that uh, I think we've all been waiting for. One-on-one -on -one ladder matchup, and it's going to be Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. The winner will go on to Money in the Bank and, and beyond that. So it's going to be huge. Obviously, Seth Rollins has been very, very successful in the last few weeks, building and building. And Dean Ambrose, well, we know how good he is, but suffering a loss at, at Bragging Rights. We'll see how that uh, sets it back. But nonetheless... Back to this one, of course, Rusev, he was involved in Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, where, of course, Team Raw was unsuccessful defeating SmackDown, as Sami Zayn and Cesaro now head back into the ring. So it'll be very interesting to see how Rusev bounces back here. Obviously, US Champion very has been very successful as a single star. Triple H looking just to get himself back on the horse again. He's been struggling. Cesaro is trying to break out as a single star himself and almost pins Sami Zayn there, a count of two. And Sami Zayn, he's just a guy who's been battling away for months and months, yet to have the success he's been looking for. We'll see how he fares in the future. And a big chance right now to change everything right around. I mean, you get this victory here, you get yourself in Money in the Bank, and if you win Money in the Bank, it can change your whole life in one match. It's that huge of an opportunity as Sami Zayn! Oh, plants down Cesaro, hooks the leg, here we go! Zayn, he has Cesaro! No, he can't! Cesaro powering out at two, just barely, but he kicked out well enough. Sami Zayn may have used everything he had left to kick out, well, to, to try and put Cesaro away there. And Cesaro, he had to use everything he had left to kick out there. Now Cesaro has a hold of Rusev and a fall away slam. Oh, and holds on to him, a cover now. Sami Zayn breaks it up. Triple H going to go for a suplex of his own. Rusev trying to get back to his feet. All four men now in the ring and bowing away. Here we go, cover now. Triple H with the hook of the leg on Sami Zayn, but it is broken up by Cesaro. And now Rusev launched over the top rope. Cesaro's going to follow him out there. Sami Zayn, though, inside the ring, tosses Triple H to the other side of the ring. And now a chance to put Triple H away. Rusev and Cesaro are both busy to the outside, and Triple H falls over the steel steps face first. Down he goes. And Rusev and Cesaro to the outside as well. Triple H now into the corner, head first. And Sami Zayn with a drop kick, following it up. And now this is his moment. This is his chance right now. Cesaro and Rusev are distracted. Sami Zayn, if he can hit one big move, he might be able to pin the game Triple H. Not an easy thing to do, but a true chance to do it right now. Sami Zayn waiting for Triple H to get back to his feet. He's up. Cesaro, meanwhile, outside of the ring. Oh, look at the power there of Cesaro. Looking at the 300-pounder and tossing him down. And the kick right to the back of Triple H. And these are the forearm and the elbow. Just strike him on the chest. Triple H is in some trouble. Sami Zayn dominating him right now. Cesaro with a German suplex there on Rusev. Zayn though with a hook of the leg. And Triple H will kick out. Chaos right now between these four men. A chance to become the first participant in the Money in the Bank ladder matches on the line. Sami Zayn with those elbow strikes coming after Triple H. I don't think Rusev and Cesaro really realize what's going on in the middle of the ring. They need to probably get in there and try and break this situation up. Otherwise, you could find that Sami Zayn may be able to put Triple H away without Cesaro and Rusev really being able to do anything about it. And Sami Zayn drags down Triple H there. Beautiful hip toss. Now opportunity. What can he do? He's going to go to the outside. Is He's going to join Rusev and Cesaro out there. So instead of trying to pick up the win on Triple H, he's going to go outside. I think he made a, made a mistake there. I don't know about that. Now Rusev has Triple H in the corner. Rusev, here we go. Coming after Triple H, the boot right to the chin. Zayn and Cesaro still going. Cesaro in some trouble now. Sami Zayn, he's looked pretty good to be fair. Sami Zayn, been very, very impressive. 
Rusev still going now. Triple H would love a chance to get him into this matchup. Can he do it though? R Rusev is controlling this match right now in the middle of the ring. Triple H has been in some trouble. Took a beat down from Zayn. Now Rusev continuing that. Triple H has to dig deep and find something. What can he do to turn this all around? Rusev now has Triple H up. And he's going to launch him right in the corner. Going to try and follow it up with something big. But Triple H there, the veteran, scattered it out. He knew it was coming. Now has a hold of Rusev. And here we go. Side slam there. Sidewalk slam. Beautifully executed. And now Triple H has an opening. Cesaro though, he's thinking about trying to put Sami Zayn away as well. Triple H after Rusev. Cesaro now, he's going for the neutralizer. Triple H is going for the pedigree. There's the neutralizer. There's the pedigree. Bang, bang. Who's going to get to the cover first? It's Triple H after Rusev. Here it is. Two. He's got him. No. Rusev, I think, kicked out and got the shoulder up. And Cesaro didn't get a chance to put Sami Zayn away because obviously the referee was distracted. So both men had a chance to win the match at the same time. I don't know if Rusev got the shoulder. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I think that Rusev must have kicked out because the referee stopped the count. But uh, certainly right now, Triple H, uh-oh, has that sledgehammer. And he's coming after Cesaro with the sledgehammer with one strike there to the back. Rusev now has Sami Zayn in the ring who just took the neutralizer. Rough time now for Sami Zayn because Rusev is getting ready. He's picked up Zayn. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, tilt the world slam. And that is going to be it. Sami Zayn in real trouble. Triple H is coming, but he can't get there. Rusev has done it. Rusev is the first qualifier for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Whether it be for Raw or for the brand versus brand match either one you decide but it is going to be rusev has guaranteed a position in either match quite honestly i thought Sami Zayn might have been the mvp of this match certainly beating down triple h very impressive then coming after cesaro outside of the ring but it was just a little unlucky here got met uh, met with a neutralizer triple h going for the pedigree here as well i think cesaro probably had the match won here as well he's very unlucky cesaro he's just unlucky the referee was looking at uh Triple H and Rusev rather than uh, he and Sami Zayn. So at the end of the day, Sami Zayn, here it was. Rusev picking him up and launching him right there. And Triple H after Cesaro outside the ring. He got in the ring, but he was just uh, probably a second or two too slow. And Rusev picks up the win. And he's the United States champion. He knows he has Rhino coming after him. But now he he's going to try and focus on that and the Money in the Bank ladder match. Rusev. He is the future of Raw, many believe. Can he keep this going? We'll find out soon. Now it's time for our big WWE Championship match. We renew an old rivalry here tonight. As Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose, it happens again. And it is for the WWE Championship. We had a match a few weeks ago between these two for the championship, but it was spoiled thanks to Kevin Owens coming out and interfering in the matchup. We don't know who would have won that one on that occasion, but we do know that Seth Rollins has done enough to earn himself a chance here, and he's been rewarded after his victory at the Bragging Rides pay-per-view. Of course, he defeated Daniel Bryan, and uh, one of the few guys to actually have a very successful night at Bragging Rides for Raw, so he's been rewarded for his good work with an opportunity here tonight at the championship. It is going to be a ladder match. We're going to get ourselves ready for Money in the Bank, which will take place in four weeks' time, and it's going to have a number of ladder matches for the briefcase, but tonight it's for the championship. Seth Rollins, probably suited to this match more so than Dean Ambrose, but Ambrose is the champion and uh, has been very, very successful, but I just feel as though he might be taking a step back after his loss at Bragging Rights. He really, really wanted to beat Kevin Owens so badly, and now... That he's under the pressure. He's under the pump. After losing to Owens, he's basically just told everybody that he's not the best champion in the WWE anymore. It is now Kevin Owens. So Ambrose is under the pressure here tonight to try and hold on to the championship. Where will his mind be for this match? How will he fare? Is he completely focused? Can he recover after a devastating loss? And arguably what was a classic match between Owens and Ambrose. It was an absolute beauty. And now Ambrose must turn it back up again here tonight. Forget about what happened last night. Come here with 100% and give it your all because that title that he has around his waist is up for grabs. And he must climb that ladder and grab the championship. Otherwise, 
he will no longer be the champion of the WWE here on Raw. He must win, he must retain. Seth Rollins, he is ready. A former champion in his own right, one of the longest reigning champions in recent times. Rollins is looking to become a two-time WWE champion. Has a chance here tonight, tonight to do it as Ambrose picks up Rollins and straight away plants him down. So a good start there for Ambrose, who I believe just has to go all out. Try and use the ladder, try and use weapons, try and use whatever he can just to survive this one. Rollins has all the momentum heading in. Ambrose just needs to get through this match. This will probably be one of the be one of the toughest matches in his career and Rollins a powerbomb to the outside what a great start there by Seth Rollins and straight away Ambrose is under the pump Rollins took the first shot and he returned serve though with a huge powerbomb to the outside and now Ambrose is now in trouble so this is a great start for Rollins and this is exactly what he needed to do come out here and gain control and put Ambrose under the pressure because he's already under enough pressure as it is and if you can keep the pressure on then Ambrose could buckle and this might be his one chance to recapture the championship here tonight Ambrose now in with a headlock and he manages to get out of it and sends Rollins to the ground so I believe Ambrose needs to try and utilize the weapons here this is obviously anything goes Ambrose will need to use the weapons to help him out here just to get him through this match where Seth Rollins I'm sure he'll be jumping off the ladder. He'll be doing whatever it takes He's gonna bring his absolute a game, which is why Ambrose this is gonna be a tough match for him But Ambrose let's be honest. He's been very impressive. He's been champion since WrestleMania. He's gone through the likes of uh, Triple H Roman Reigns and couldn't you know he's beaten Kevin Owens a couple times now But uh, couldn't get it done at bragging rights obviously but Kevin Owens you know is the best of the best as well You cannot fault Ambrose for losing that match He came so close but Kevin Owens has somehow he just kept on kicking out of everything Ambrose is throwing at him the dirty deeds After you know 20 minutes of a beatdown by Ambrose on Kevin Owens He managed to kick out of the dirty deeds and came back and hit the dirty deeds on Ambrose It was amazing match but Ambrose, how much has that taken out of him? How much has he got left in the tank here? Because not only is this just a match for the title, it's a ladder match as well. Which is going to put even more pressure on the body of Dean Ambrose. But right now, he's just brawling to the outside. That's what he's going to try and stick to. Just kind of keep it. Seth Rollins away from the ladder and away from the middle of the ring. And just rely on his brawling ability. Now another powerbomb. This time, Ambrose connects with it. The first one was from Rollins this time from Ambrose. And well executed. And to the outside as well. That padding does not have much give to it at all. And Ambrose now in control. Stomping away now on Seth Rollins. Here we go. Ambrose lining him up. Big kick right to the, the gut region there. Of oh, Seth Rollins. So Ambrose has control. Thank goodness for Dean Ambrose. He needed that. He just needed a chance to kind of work his way into this match. And now a, a big shot there to Seth Rollins. Uh oh. Seth Rollins from behind. A German suplex to the outside. And that is going to hurt Dean Ambrose greatly. Seth Rollins now has got the upper hand. It was Ambrose for a while there, but now Rollins is working his way back into it. And the pressure is now back on Dean Ambrose. And finally, the ladder is going to be applied into this match. Rollins tossing it into the ring. And here we go. Seth Rollins is going to look to climb this ladder in the middle of the ring. He's got a hold of it. Ambrose is coming. Ambrose needs to try and grab the ladder off Rollins. And oh, Seth Rollins connects with the ladder shot. If he can climb the ladder now, it might be a real opportunity to win this match. But can he do it? Ambrose trying to get back to his feet. Rollins now climbing. Ambrose is coming after him. Rollins has the title, but Ambrose will send him down. And Rollins, snap mare there. And here we go. Just applying some pressure now on Ambrose. Obviously no submissions will be applied or you know count all that much in this match. Other than trying to inflict some damage, but uh, it won't help you win the match. Ambrose now, oh, scattered out nicely there from Seth Rollins. These two, this match probably should have happened a few months ago. Seth Rollins obviously had a rematch for the championship at WrestleMania. He, he lost the WWE Championship at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. He had a rematch at WrestleMania, and Rollins was not involved in the decision. He did not get pinned on that occasion. He always felt that he deserved another opportunity. He felt as though he never really got a fair shot. He never lost his rematch. And that uh, he should have had another chance at the title. And now he's busted open. Thanks to the DDT by Dean Ambrose. And Seth Rollins had a shot a few weeks ago. Obviously, as we mentioned, Kevin Owens getting himself involved now. 
really. This should be a fair one-on-one -on -one match. There should be no interference in this one. But all we know is Ambrose off the top rope, dropping the knee there on Seth Rollins. And that ladder falls down as well. Thankfully, didn't really connect with anybody. Seth Rollins now. Snap Mare takedown right there on the top of the ladder. Rollins trying to get back to his feet. That ladder yet to really be enforced into this match too much. Seth Rollins trying to take Ambrose outside the ring. He's going to go for it again this time. And it's not going to work again. Ambrose is stopping in his tracks. And now Ambrose might be able to take advantage of the mistake there by Seth Rollins. Takes down Rollins for the snap mare his own. And oh, an elbow struck there to the head of Seth Rollins. So Ambrose, he's battling away right now. You can tell that he's just probably missing a, a few steps. A few springs in his steps though. And now he's going to try and climb this ladder. A little bit ginger now. You can see a little bit groggy. He's just taking a bit of a beat down from Rollins. He's just, just a little bit slow at the moment. But Seth Rollins shrugs the ladder away. Now he has to make sure that Ambrose cannot fall down with the ladder. And he's going to make sure of it. And he takes down Ambrose in the process. Seth Rollins. That's a big move. Now has a chance to use the ladder and climb up himself. And there's the difference. Seth Rollins climbing the ladder very comfortably and pretty easily, whereas Dean Ambrose took so much time to get to the top. And that's a difference. Three seconds or two seconds, whatever time it takes to climb that ladder. If you can do it faster than your opponent, those few extra seconds that you get are absolutely crucial. Now Ambrose, he's up onto the top of the ladder a bit quicker this time. But Seth Rollins is coming along to try and make sure that he cannot win that championship. Seth Rollins, desperate to keep this match alive. He's going to go after Ambrose again, and he'll take him down one more time. Now Seth Rollins. I think maybe throwing Ambrose to the outside of the ring. He was trying to do that a little bit earlier, but it's not a bad idea. You get Ambrose to the outside of the ring, you climb the ladder, and it gives yourself even more time to climb to the top and grab the, the championship. Ambrose now, again, a bit slower after taking that, uh, that fall from the top of the ladder. And he falls down again thanks to Seth Rollins. Rollins now coming off the ladder. Going to set it up, is he? No, he's going to toss it to the outside. Takes it out of play. So that's an interesting decision there by Seth Rollins. Perhaps Seth Rollins realizes he might need to just do a little bit more damage to Dean Ambrose before he tries to win this match. But he's also going to try and take that ladder out of play so Ambrose doesn't get any chances of climbing up and winning and retaining the championship. Ambrose sets a ladder up to the outside. I'm not sure why he's really done that. Can't quite reach the championship from that distance. I mean... I don't think he can really extend his arms that far. I don't know. I mean, does he have any superpowers or anything like that? I mean, maybe he Slater could do it. Maybe he's the only one who could reach his arms that far. I mean, he can do everything. But uh, I don't think Dean Ambrose can quite do that. Instead, these two men still brawling to the outside right now. Ambrose has a hold of Seth Rollins. And a roll of knee there right to, to Rollins' head. And that uh, neck and throat region. Ambrose, this is a bad predicament for Rollins. And he realized that he had to get out of there. His head was right there on the steel ring post. Right hand now by Rollins. And now Ambrose suplex down. Chance now for Rollins. Can get back in the ring. Grab a hold of the ladder. Bring it in. Set it up. Ambrose is down. This is a chance for Rollins. Can he do it? Ambrose. He's stirring. He's trying to get back in there. The ladder is back in. Seth Rollins going to climb the ladder, is he? Going to try and set it up first. Ambrose is in. Oh, oh Ambrose... He's taken down by the ladder shot there by Rollins. Now this is a chance. But Rollins realizes he's got to do a little bit more than that. He's going to send Ambrose to the outside. Ambrose in trouble now. Ambrose has to get back to his feet. Seth Rollins, this is the moment. Seth Rollins can climb the ladder right now and win the WWE Championship for the second time. He's climbing a bit slow though. Is he wasting too much time? Ambrose is trying to get to his feet. He's crawling, but Rollins has the title. Ambrose is nowhere to be found. Ambrose is coming. Rollins, can he get it? Oh, Ambrose has saved the match in the nick of time. Ambrose has saved it, but now Rollins has a hold of Ambrose and launches him to the outside again. Rollins, slowly, but getting back to the top. He has the title now. He's got it this time, and Ambrose is nowhere to be found. And we have a new WWE Champion. Seth Rollins has done it. Ambrose just had nothing left in the tank. He gave it all at Bragging Rights. He gave it all tonight, but even his best was not enough to beat Seth Rollins in this ladder match. Seth Rollins has done it. He is the new WWE. 
WWE Champion. The second time he's held the championship here in Universe Mode. Rollins is on top of Monday Night Raw once again. Seth Rollins, the new champion. All the momentum he's had has finally led to something. It has led to his second championship win. Rollins has done it again. Ambrose's reign has come to an end. But Seth Rollins begins his second reign. Rollins has won the WWE title. What a win tonight for Seth Rollins. He's done it. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think. Can you believe it? Seth Rollins has won. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. What an episode here tonight. And there's going to be plenty more to come in the future. Make sure you leave a like on this video. It would be great if you can hit 15 likes to celebrate the title change. That's a huge goal, I know. But if you can hit 15 likes, I'll upload the next episode as soon as I possibly can. Rollins winning the title tonight. I can't believe it. Ambrose, oh, he had it. He was so close, but not tonight. Seth Rollins wins. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to see more Universe Mode. Follow me on Twitter at Brendan Place. Check out the website, BrendanPlace.com. All the money in the bank matches that have been revealed so far are now available on the website. And also check out the beautiful new logo for Money in the Bank. It's gorgeous. Go check it out. Website, BrendanPlace.com. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next episode.